Good morning, everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Dynamite service with explosive results. So we are on location. I did hook up uh, a brand new section, uh, 100 feet of 3 8 poly braided siphon hose because the inner diameter stays uh, really intact, but over time, the outer diameter, the coating will crack. And it, once that cracks, I would go ahead and replace that, even though it doesn't leak, uh, just to be on the safe side. So uh, the other one lasted actually a couple of years. So um, uh, with proper rinsing, um, you can, you know, uh, make your equipment last a lot longer um, than it can. With abuse, you're gonna have to replace it uh, quite frequently. Um, if you're downstreaming and running chemicals through your lines, especially with your high pressure hoses, it's important to replace those. So we are um, on a property, this is a monthly contract customer um, that has me do multiple properties and businesses, but um, this is their own personal home and um, they're gonna be having some company at the end of the month. So they wanna get not only the travertine pool deck cleaned, the pool cage cleaned, uh, the lanai, there's a pagoda, uh, and uh, a play yard. So I'm going to show you what that looks like, and I'm going to simply down. I'm simply going to X jet a 1% uh, solution, a very light uh, solution, um, onto the uh, travertine deck. Um, in lieu of doing a peroxide-based uh, solution, there's a bit of mold and mildew. Uh, I want to make sure that that's all clean and looking really, really good. And then uh, we're going to be doing um, uh, the same thing on the play yard because we don't need a really heavy, um, you know, uh, hot mix. Um, and then uh, on this brick walkway, we're going to be using a hotter 3% mix. But uh, I'll let you take a look at what this looks like. So you can kind of see sort of a dingy yellow, uh, you know, and what we're going to do is really uh, brighten that up and make that look good. There's a fireplace over here that also needs to be touched up. Uh, you can see that. There's a travertine deck right there, and this is travertine right here. Um, and then of course we have the pool deck. And then um, a friend of mine who's a finishing carpenter uh, had uh, put a new roof on here and uh, made this structurally sound. Um, so we're gonna spray that off as well. Um, we will not be using chemicals on there uh, because that uh, uh, could very well change uh, the uh, look, but we're gonna clean it up for them. So a good soap um, and rinse will be just fine on this. Uh, and that way um, it doesn't cause any issues. And uh, especially with the color uh, on this stain, it's so brand new and there is no organic matter present. The only reason that we use SH as a disinfectant and algicide fungicide is to remove organic matter. So if there is no organic matter, uh, then yes, on concrete especially, there's a brightening effect. But we just wanna clean this up and disinfect some of these things. I will be disinfecting the seats uh, and the slide, so that's nice for them. Uh, but we also have this entire area in here uh, that we're going to shoot as well and just kind of brighten that up and get all of these little uh, weeds that are growing up along here. Uh, we're gonna take care of all of those. Um, so I'm gonna take a quick picture of that just so we can see the weed growth and things like that. And then um, uh, this was done probably about a close to a year ago uh, and it's still really doing well. Um, you know, there are some areas with a little bit of mildew and that type of thing, but um, it's going to look really, really good when I'm finished. Uh, I'll let you see the insides and sort of what we're looking at there. Um, this handle has not been fixed yet, so we have to be conscientious of that. Um, but one of the areas, you see you have some, there's some standard growth that's occurring between those seams. And then over here, uh, you have this area in here. So we'll take a nice picture of that just so that we can show our work when it's finished. And, um, you know, a lot of pine nettles that have settled in. You can see down here how you have, you know, your splines are still in, your screens are intact, but you can see what that looks like along there. You know what I mean? So uh, we'll get all that up. We'll get the rest of the uh, uh, deck washed and you can see some growth that's occurring over there um, and things like that. So if we walk down here, I'll show you um, what sort of happens when these joints aren't sanded, um, uh, you get this growth. And this is, this is occurring uh, big time down here. So uh, you can see right in here, all of this growth in through here. So that'll be a little, little project for us today, getting all of that out of here. 
Uh, let's see, you can see all that. So uh, we need to make sure that that's all cleaned up and looking really, really good. So we'll just get a nice little photograph of that for the homeowner to show them how beautiful that looks once I'm finished. And now uh, we'll touch up the beams on the top make everything look absolutely gorgeous. I hope everyone's having a great day. This will be done with the X-Jet. Uh, we do have the J-Rod with some wash tips uh, that we'll be using. We're gonna be using a very super, super light solution on this travertine. Um, and that is about the story. So I'm just sort of checking while I'm here with you guys to see if there's anything in addition uh, to making this home much brighter and beautiful. But uh, we can see we've got to move some furniture, so I got to get to work. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. TNT pressure cleaning, dynamite service with explosive results. And uh, this is going to be a pool deck cleaning and a backyard play area cleaning. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.